Hey everyone, welcome back. In this Jira roadmap tutorial, I'm going to cover some of the very important features that are available within Jira Advanced Roadmap. These are the basic features, but really helpful to align and organize your work on the Jira Advanced Roadmap plan. Okay, so first thing we have been already looking at many of these features, but I just wanted to combine all of those modifications or the layout modifications that you can do on the plan and how you are going to achieve that so basically fields right let's start with the fields to minimize the field you simply need to you know like click on these columns here and to maximize you can just click on the column again and it will maximize that particular field right if you completely want to minimize it just click on this little icon and all the fields will be hidden okay so this will collapse field will hi uh, hide all of the fields that are there if you want to remove the fields say for example i do not want release to be displayed you just choose the fields and you delete the release from here to add the field simply choose the fields that are available in the drop down here and then those field will be added okay to reorganize or basically change the column location you just simply drag and drop off these fields and now first will be progress issue count and then dependence so if we go back you will see the progress and then you have incoming dependency outgoing dependency so dependencies has been added as the columns there okay so this is how you will reorganize the columns to maximize or basically expand the column you simply drag and drop like that okay pretty basic stuff but very helpful let's minimize all the fields the next thing is around basically if i go to this issue drop down you will see you can expand all or you can collapse all of that together to create an issue you have this create issue to search for an issue right simply click on this search icon there and say for example i want to search for a particular issue okay so say let's say i want to search for all the issues which is aara1 and if i hit enter you will see all of those you will see you can basically quickly find whichever issues contain aara-1 okay so this is how you will search for the issues in the filters you have this hierarchy configuration so basically from epic to story and then you can update the filters according to the needs so say for example in the teams you want to choose a specific team you can choose the teams from here okay so a lot of possibilities here I'm not going to cover each and everything. It is pretty basic stuff. Just explaining to show you the navigation. And this this position might change in future releases of the Jira Advanced Roadmap. So it, it might be possible that it is not exactly the same the way that I'm showing you. But overall, crux of it will remain same, right? The core feature will remain same. It might be a little bit layout here and there unless until there is a major change in the layout or the feature in the upcoming or the advanced releases. Okay. If I go to the view settings, then here you have the very important feature, which is color by which will be really helpful, right? So I can color code the layout on the timeline, right? So say, for example, you have different options here. So you, I, you can either choose none for the color coding or you can color code by any of the things, right? Or either team or status a project you can specify the color code and the issues within that particular project will be color coded with that specific color okay the project color now if i go ahead and select the issue type right so this color coding will help us to identify what issue type is displayed on the timeline right so i can specify a color so say for example i want to color code all my defects to red okay so just choose the color red and then select bug okay and now you will see anything which is shown as red on the timeline you know that this is a defect right similarly i want all my user stories to be green right so and we are just using the same color coding as is mentioned in the jira for these issues similarly we'll have a purple for epic uh for for uh, the subtask we'll have blue light blue and for the task we'll have the blue color okay so this color coding will help you to basically identify on the timeline which issue is what so now you know that this is basically the epic right and these are the stories so you can easily identify by the timeline what issue type that particular time or the timeline belongs to okay so that's about the color coding and you can play around with different color coding combinations here to clear all the colors i'll simply click on clear all the colors and all the colors will be gone so it will be just one color for all of the issues on this particular plan you can sort by different options there right we have 
have already seen about the team sorting and discussed a lot of things about that you can group by the release or the team which is also possible which i have already seen we have seen about the show capacity on the timeline right so that is when you choose the teams and then dependency style is whether badges or lines so if say for example i choose the lines you will see these dependency style is lines and if you choose badges it will be those these icons that are shown on the timeline okay then you can roll up the dates and all other things so say for example you have the dates defined in all of all of the subtasks or the issues that are below the epic all of that will roll up and the roll up of the date and everything will be rolled up to the parent item there okay so that's what the roll up is and you can roll up other things like sprint releases etc as well okay so this is around the view setting now moving to the view right so this is these are the views that are available there okay so to manage the views you can go to the manage views okay and you will see these are the saved views if you want to change the default view to something else you can select that and delete the saved views from here as well okay let's go back to the plan and say for example here i change something in this plan and i want this as a new view okay so say for example i just change it here or i change the color coding say for example let's change the color and i'll add the color coding for the stories as green and i want to save this as a new view so i'll simply click on if you'll click on the save this view it will basically save in this top level planning whichever is selected there okay to save a new view click on this drop down click on save as new view and provide the name okay so i'll say color coded all right and save it so now you will see the new view is saved okay so whatever changes you are doing here now if you keep saving it it will be saved in the into the color coded view and not override any of the existing if you go to the manage views you will see color coded view is there and this has been created by myself and it will give you all of the details okay so this is around the views do not directly press save this view it will override whatever is selected as a view there okay so this is about the saving the view you can discard the changes or you can delete the view directly from here so this will get deleted okay so this is a brief about uh, some of the you know field addition around the search creating the issue expanding and collapsing all the issues some of the details around uh, saving the views around the filter so in the filters how you can work with the filters and these all are very simple features but very powerful and good to know when you are basically working as a portfolio lead and doing the planning in the jira advanced roadmap so that's pretty much all about the understanding of the jira advanced roadmap layout features color coding etc i hope this was helpful thank you very much for watching